Hey everybody, George Gill here from The Measurement Doctor. Thanks for joining me. I want to talk to you a little bit today about regex expressions, why you need to know about them, and the power of them within Google Analytics. And basically we're going to do a little, a little regexing uh, on the whiteboard today and actually see how to apply this. So let's do this. Okay, so here we are within analytics and I'm going to go into, let's just go into all traffic and we got different sources, different mediums going on here, minimize everything else down and let's say for example I wanted to just narrow down the traffic that is converting say at a higher rate. So maybe Bing, Yahoo, Google, maybe I just want to really focus on Bing and Yahoo. Well to set up a filter and to be able to travel around my pages doesn't really work. Nor does if I do an advanced filter, although it'll work on this particular page, it's, it's cumbersome to, to do. So what I really want to do is I want to set up an advanced segment. And of course, I am a big proponent of using segments when you analyze your data because it basically gets rid of all the excess data and allows you to drill in and focus on what you want to pay attention to. Now don't worry, we're going to get to the regex expressions because I'm going to show you the challenge that you run into when you try and create a filter or a segment um, for a more complex search. And we'll show you that in just a second here. But I want you to pay attention right at the moment that we have all this data. We're looking at 549 uh, sessions. We're looking at all these different sources, etc. So let's go into add segment and we're going to create a new segment. And we're going to choose traffic source. And I'm going to do the source contains, we're going to narrow it down to Bing. And when I hit the B, notice right away that I actually have two versions of Bing as a source. So if I just do Bing and Bing and preview that, that's not going to work. Okay, I, I can see that I'm getting zero, zero, well actually that's on Bing Organic it's showing zero. Uh, Bing CPC it's showing zero. It doesn't work that way. The actual segment doesn't work that way. What you need to do is do a reg expression because we're dealing with multiple sources and the way analytics works is it only allows me to control one to input one source if I'm using the function contains. So if I do preview now with just the one, we'll see that hey, 1.55% of users actually had that. So now I'm getting the preview to show up, but I'm missing the other Bing traffic. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do a reg expression, a regex as it's like to be called. Now, as I said, the problem here is, you know, it gets a little technical and I hate to be technical. I, ha I hate to be really advanced on the coding side because that's not really user friendly. And I'm a firm believer that you can take advantage of, of all of these great features within uh, analytics just as long as we keep it as simple as possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter the Bing, the first one, and it'll pop up. And then to do the second one, I want to use the character, the straight line character, uh, pointing straight up. Now this character is also called the vertical bar, uh, the pollen, the pipe, has different names. But we'll just call it the vertical bar <laughs> for the sake of argument here. And I'm on a Mac and you can find it above the backslash key to get that vertical bar. And then what I'm going to do is enter the second Bing. Now you're not going to get a pop up on this, but I'll go capital B ing because I saw what it looked like. And that's what really what I recommend you do is get all of your different uh, components of the regex that you want to include. Get the exact spelling including caps already pre-done because when you go in to create the regex it's only going to show up the very first one before the the vertical bar so you need to know how to type them or copy paste them at that stage so now when i do a preview on this i'm going to get all of the different bing sources and in fact let's just uh let's take off that session so that we can see 
we're actually getting Bing CPC traffic and Bing organic. So that's how you create a, a reg expression, a very simple reg expression, so you can include more than one option into your segment or your advanced filter if that's where you wanted to use it. Hope that was helpful, and if you'd like more free training on Google Analytics, head over to webanalyticsmd.com and uh, sign up for some free training there. We have different webinars going on all the time. Until I see you again, don't do a thing in life or online unless you're measuring it.